Remember I told you in the books that the, the roots go as far as a drip line? Yeah. This is 35 feet radius. Okay. Wow. And, you know, and so the roots are spread everywhere. But what I'm, what I'm seeing is, is that it's a, it, it's, a, it's, it's a life force. You know, they're feeding one another. It's a, it's a, it's a giving thing. It's not, nothing's being taken away from. And it's just, it's phenomenal. And I had the most interesting experience. You know, I grow, you know, this is a cool place. And you grow tomatoes, you got to have, um, you want to get a lot of heat. And so I had this place in my herb garden where I had this metal sheet that reflects the heat to the north side of the plant to gain heat. And I've always grown tomatoes. And last year, I, the tomatoes, two plants got in, covered an area 10 by 20 feet. I mean, it was dramatic how well I did. But it was awesome this year. These, these things are totally thriving, full of tomatoes. I'm beginning to eat them. And we got this heavy rain. We're talking a heavy, heavy rain. And all those tomatoes got fungus and they're dead. They're gone. Yeah. Totally over. But you know what's interesting? And you'll see today when you walk through the orchard, all the tomatoes under my trees experiencing the same rain didn't get fungus. <laughs> And I'm, and I'm saying, God, you're getting my attention. You're getting my attention. I'm, I'm, paying, I'm getting it. Growing under trees is the most ideal, best thing to do. You know, and you'll, you'll see these, you know what's interesting? People are shocked. These tomatoes are climbing up the trunk like they're stuck to it. I'm not, I'm not staking them. And they're totally climbing the trunk, staying right. And it's like, it's so awesome. And the beauty is I'm not doing anything. This is just all a natural phenomenon. And I'm thinking like, wow, you know, what I'm loving is that, you know, I've been doing this for 64 years, but I'm still learning the things. You know, it doesn't end. It's just, there's always new revelation, new understanding coming because it's just that awesome. So it's been really fun. Next year you got to throw in a beef stick because you know we can't grow beef. I know. Here, so. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm, you know, it's just, you know, and, and again, you know, Nick, 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 my friend, he works over at Sunny Farms in the nursery and, and, and one of the, he's growing chickens here and one, and one of the, one of the employees came and she flipped out at this tomato under under the um, trees and says, Lalani, with all her blue water, has nothing close to this. <laughs> she was in total shock. It's under my tree. You know, just totally huge and beautiful. You know? <laughs> when I came here, I read in Genesis that God said the reason he made us was to have dominion over everything he made. That was his purpose. Let them have dominion over everything we've, we've made. He wanted us to, to care for it. And if you look at the top of these trees, in the top of my hand, it's the same height. I'm not using ladders. These trees are going to serve me. And if you look at their, their position, they look like they're very humble, like they're bowing down, serving me. And they are. And so as a tree grew, when a branch got this high, I cut to a lateral going out and that became the leader. As the branches grow out and get fruit, they bend over and the weight of the apples bends them down. And you'll see a lot of my trees are branches are on the ground, you know, because it's just the weight of the fruit pulls them right down. But I can reach everything. I never use a ladder, and it's very convenient. You know, as you get older, the word convenience starts making more sense. You know, I always like it. The older people laugh pretty well because they get it. You know, they totally get it, you know. And you realize, like, why make it hard? Keep it simple. Make it easy, you know. <laughs> And they don't go all the way to the. Oh yeah, you'll 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 you'll, you'll, see, you'll see you'll see a lot of my trees. Okay. Are, they're okay. on the ground. Okay. But but on the ground is not a problem. It's still good with the wood chip. Because it's not mud, yeah. and it's totally soft, and it's nothing's going to rot. You know, it's, this is this is not a dirt environment. This is totally a nice nice environment. So, and actually, when they fall, they don't fall far, and they land on wood chips, which is clean and soft, so they don't bruise. So it's very convenient. Works really well. There must be fifty or sixty apples on this. Oh, it's nuts! On one it, branch. It's totally crazy, you know. And, and, you, and you can, and if you if you ever go to orchards, you can see my trees are very open. They're not very full. Most most trees are really full. And I'm pruning my trees open because I'm trying to reduce the amount of fruit I get. I'm making an effort to get less, but it's not working. You know? How many apples are normally on a tree? Oh, I don't know, I don't know the numbers, but I'm saying you don't ever see them this dense. Okay. They're not like grapes ha wondering. hanging, you know. Yeah, they look like grapes hanging. That's what okay. it looks you don't you don't see them like that in orchards, you know, and because uh, they don't grow like that normally. Yeah. <laughs> we'll here at Paul's. <laughs> it's just it's so. Um, You'll see amazing things. This abundance can be a challenge. These bigger ones here are 40 years old. When I first came here, I planted trees. 
Because you know, in, in the Torah, when God wrote to the Israelites, He told them, before you build your house, you plant your vineyards and orchards and gardens. And there's a wisdom in that, because if you can't grow food there, you can't live there. Because, you know, back in the day there weren't stores, and if everybody grew their own food. And so before you built on a place, you had to make sure it was a growable place you can grow food, because otherwise you can't live there. So the first thing I did was plant these fruit, plant these fruit, fruit trees. And they're in good shape. They'll last for 100 years or more. You know, the only, trees, only reason that trees die is because they break up. They get cavities and the, and, and the structure fails and they, and they break. But trees, if they're in good health, should live forever. They should have no reason to die. And it's interesting, you know, General Sherman there in California, the big, the big um, redwood, mm -hmm. it's 2,000 years old, 500 some feet and still growing. And you know, it was interesting in Israel when the Crusaders came in and cut down all the olive trees that were there when Jesus was there. Yeah. Now they've gone back and begin watering and re and regrowing things from those stumps. Those olive trees are coming back. Wow. It's amazing. Life wow. is powerful. It is incredible. And something that was so cool, I just saw a video. It was they you know, they do a lot, a lot of excavation in Israel because of the, all the history that's there, and they found this date seed that was 2,000 years old, a date seed. They planted it and it's growing, and they're so excited because they want to see what this day's going to be like. And I thought, how awesome, man! Two thousand year old seeds growing, you know, it's so cool. Wow. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? Oh, we've been looking forward to meeting you. And oh, bless you. Where, where are you from? Uh, we're from Victoria. Please. Okay. All right. Not far. Yeah. I can just about. Um, they they did some logging in my place here last year, and I can almost see. Victoria, oh, right from on. my place. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, we were we were down at uh, Dungeness Spit there earlier, just mm -hmm. looking back towards them. Yeah, uh huh. Vancouver Island. Sure. Yep. You look out on the spit. Yeah. How far did you go? Oh, halfway. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a nice walk. We needed to get here. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. We're working back from this time, right? Yeah. So that's the way to pick fruit, eh? Well, you, I was just telling them, you know, um, you know, in the scripture, um, God gives us, gives us a, a clue of why He made us to have dominion. He said, "Let them have dominion over the, over everything we've made." And I sensed when I came here that I wasn't going to be a slave to trees. And if you look at the top of my hand, yeah, that's where all the tops of my trees are. And as the trees grew, when a leader went beyond that, I cut to a lateral branch. As the lateral branch grow out and get fruit, the bend, they bend over because of the weight. So all my, if you look at them, they all look like they're humble, bowing down, serving me. It's, I think, I mean, it's, it's just, the, the, it's so significant, the reality, you know? Incredible illustration. Illustration, yeah. They're all humbly serving me, you know? Because they're just, I, I trained them that way. And that's all you're yeah, look how beautiful they are, you know. And um, everybody should go eat a flower. Though they're really, if you haven't had them before, they're really good. Yeah, go go eat them because and they're they're yeah. Walk over here. You're gonna be surprised. Now, this one, when you get to the, the the stem, it'll be sweet. Yeah, come out come out over here, and and just and you you'll find the stem is really sweet. It's really cool. But the flower is spicy. Not not as bad, not as spicy as you think. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, it's good. The stem is the sweetest part. Only one flower, okay? You can have many flowers. That's right. That's right. There's plenty. I don't know, Paul. You might run out of nasturtium, you know? Not here. <laughs> look, look, look at the volume in there. This is crazy. Every year, I think, I think it might have been the first year or the second year that you put down some nasturtium seeds that I mm -hmm. was here the first time. Uh -huh. And every this year I multiplies. come back and you're like, they just come by themselves They now. They seed themselves. Yeah, they the do. seeds fall on the ground and they just grow. They're very prolific about that. And they'll grow in anything. Yeah, they're doing well. I've had nasturtiums come up in this. Uh-huh. Well, this is an amazing growing medium. I don't it's know if you realize. It's amazing. It's crushed rock, which are minerals. Yep. And things grow better than, in this than they do in dirt. Because it's all full of minerals. Take the bug away. You don't want to eat it. I know, but are, are earwigs really the enemy? No. I mean, when I was a kid, we were always afraid of them. But I've never seen them eat. I've never seen them Insects are not enemies. They're God's police force. Really? 
Okay. So I'll explain to you. So okay. they're not going to. They're. I mean, I, he hasn't done any damage to this no, flower. No, because it's full of water. You see, insects only of only course. eat dehydrated, stressed right. plants. They never right. attack healthy plants. Right. And see, this is the design God made. You see, if if unhealthy plants could su exist so and survive. Yeah. They eventually, the seed would get weaker and weaker to become extinct. So God created insects as a police force to take out stress, dehydrated healthy plants, so the healthy plants produce seed and maintain healthy plants. It's by design. They're not, they're not a problem. They're not, they're not an issue. And if they show up, they're a wake-up call. They're telling you your plant's not well. So he was just down there. He was just cruising. That's where the water was. He was just, he was getting a drink. Yeah. But he's not, he's not eating because, because <laughs> when you eat that, you're going to see it's full of water. Yeah. Bye-bye. Now, what kind of flowers are these? Nasturtium. Nasturtium? Nasturtium. N-A-S-T-U-R. Yummy, yummy, yummy. The stems are so sweet. It's so, the stem is sweet. I love it, you know. It's like filled with sugar. Well, that's all I have for this video. Bang around that bell icon if you want to be notified when new videos come out. Call us on the hotline if you have comments or questions and want to be featured in an upcoming video. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Check us out on the website, and we'll see you guys on the next one.